All right, I'm headed back down to Ted's house, and I've been getting records there too. If you watch my channel, you know from other videos. So he wants to do some more trading. I'm gonna get him uh, the last waltz box set, the four CD box, and I would trade for some records. So I'll see you over there. And we've it's early March, and here is the, uh, the 10 feet that you've all heard about on the national news. It's way, way up there. That is a ski area that's covered in clouds. That's Slide Mountain and Mount Rose. And uh, 10 to 12 feet, way up high, above 85, 100 feet above sea level, 9,000 to 10,500 feet above sea level, uh, 10 to 12 feet solid. Interstate 80 was uh, shut down pretty much. It just snowed so heavily over Donner Summit between Sacramento and Reno. And more footage of the heavy snowfall that we've had. It's been really great. Lots of water for the spring and the summer. And right over those mountains is uh, beautiful Lake Tahoe. Okay, I'm going to go on inside and see what kind of records Ted does have. Should be a very, very good day. So, boxes of records in the garage. Really nice. We're going to go over these in just a minute um, in Ted's house. Uh, there's the outfield. Oh, there's another fog hat I didn't look at. And I picked some motel records out of here too. It would be louder 10 feet out from me than it was near me. Your Fender Twin? <laughs> yeah with the JBL speakers, that thing playing live with, you know, a drum set, next, there were, there were cymbals next to my head and all that stuff. But, exactly. But that, uh, that was fun. I don't remember them. I remember yeah, all, the I motors. The album cover, I just don't remember them. Yeah. Parachute Club. Is this all Tower Records stock? Well, it's all mostly, or it's um, all stuff that I got promos of. Promos. See, that's why the cuts are that they, they just, right. And then also towards the, the end, Tower was doing stuff where they would get uh, all this stuff that they would just send out to when they close stores and stuff like that. They take all that product. And you could call them up, or I would call them up and say, hey, I need 10 boxes of records. And they would just send me 10 boxes of who knows what. And I would look through and anything I wanted, I could get for like 20 cents. I forgot that I picked up a Flesh Tones, Hexbreaker. Let's see what's on the back here. And this is a gold stamp promo. This is going to be good. Uh, the CD case. So which one? Moondog Matinee? Yeah. Moondog Matinee is right there. And the bonus tracks are good. Yes. There's a ton of them. But then uh, the Live at Watkins Glen and the uh, the one I got from you, the Carter. Oh, yeah. Washington, D.C. That's a wonderful disc. Yeah, D.C. Yep. First Who's up there? What? Up here? Well, that's uh, Molly Crew. Isn't that who it is? Yeah, and there you are, right? Yeah. There's Ted with Motley Crue. And 
below that's Alabama. What's the mother? Oh, Jeff Deck, are you kidding me? It's that, I'm not, that's oh, you're not the in future, there? Yeah. Blue Signed Blue, Blue Oyster Cult. Wait. Wilson Phillips. There's a bunch of There's Ted with the Wilson kids. Yeah. And there's another one right below there with the Wilson girls. There's and two here, more. Yeah, here they signed. That's, and there's two different, I, I met them three different times. Right. So there's a picture from each time. Tony there's Bennett. Ted with Mr. Bennett. Yep. Too cool. Was that in Los Angeles? So Brian signed this to Ted. To yeah. Ted, thanks. Brian Wilson. Are you kidding me? And then there's Mike Love up there, signed. Beach Boys, and there's Mr. Love. He lives in Incline Village. Yeah. And that picture there of Brian, that's when he signed. Is that when he signed my picture? Here's he... Brian again. Yeah. And this is signed by all of the Beach Boys. Almost. Summer in Paradise. Yep. That was cool. Numbered edition David Bowie. Yeah. There's the Nuge with Ted. Yeah. And this one below that is T-Bone Burnett. Which wow, T-Bone. I love meeting him. That was way cool. There's Ted and T-Bone. And below that is Smokey oh, Robinson. Oh, Smokey, are you kidding me? He was, he was kind of on the taken left. back when I told him I knew who he was when I was nine years old. He and this is, this is what I really like. They might be giants with Ted. Yeah, that was cool. There, there we go. And here we have Ted with Ronnie James Dio. Where was this, Los Angeles? Uh, no, that was Anaheim. Oh, in Anaheim. Yeah. And this is with Dwight Yoakam. And that's Susanna Hoffs of the Bangles down below that. And Ted with uh, Dwight? Yep. And Ted with... Su Susanna Hoffs? My ex-girlfriend, Susanna Hoffs. Yeah. Kidding. Wow. <laughs> This is autographed by Waylon. Yep. To Ted. Let's see. This is really cool. Here's Emmy Lou with Ted. There's Ted. And this Emmy Lou. Wow. Very nice. Boy. <laughs> Here's Ted and Carly. Emmy Lou. Oh. Carly Simon. That's Carly Simon. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we know this guy. That's autographed to my wife. This is autographed by Mr. Garcia to Kat from Jerry. Hi, Kathy. From Jerry. And, um, Jerry the Man Garcia. And Bob Weir below that. Oh, Bobby Weir with Ted. Are you kidding me? What? I'm jealous. <laughs> you know what was funny is uh, we were backstage with Jerry Garcia. And while we were this is Dixie Chicks, and this is an autographed poster of Dixie Chicks. Uh, That's my, my two of my daughters with Dixie Chicks. I better go. Is this Bruce? That's Bruce. It's just a picture, though. My wife framed it. And let's finish with uh, the boss. Here's oh. Bruce. And that, that book picture up there is Hugh Hefner's girlfriend. I can't remember her name. Barbie Sorry. Benton. Barbie Benton. What was that about Nancy Griffith? Yeah, the, the MCA was having this dinner. And the uh, guy putting it on from MCA had been the assistant manager of the first record store I ever worked in up in Oregon, everybody's record company. And he knew what a huge fan I was, so he sat me across the table from her, literally. So I got to watch her eat her dinner and talk to her the whole dinner. And that's why it says uh, for, for Vinay and whatever, Nick Vinay. 
mm -hmm. uh, was her record producer at the time. And he also produced, he was listed as the producer on the first two Beach Boys albums from Capitol Records. Wow. Although Brian is the one that essentially produced it, Vinay got credit. Some of Ted's uh, Beach Boys related vinyl. There's bamboo. Many moods of Murray Wilson. Oh my gosh. Yep. Terrible record. But it's got I an bet. Alan Jardine song that's nowhere else in the world. Really? Yep. Now we're talking wild honey. Yep. Oh, friends. I do have a copy. Mine's not in that slick of shape. Oh, man. Yep, get jealous. Stack of tracks. Here we go. There's the original. Yeah. Here's a sunflower. So one more, this is uh, Pet Sounds. This is the analog pressing, this is numbered. Yep. Let's Where's see the here. Other one of these? There. And here's how it is numbered. So it's always a pleasure going over to Ted's house. So I have a lot of fun. I've been going over there about every week. And I'll show you what I got. You know, this is a lot of old tower stock and we've been trading, as I did mention. Um, last week I brought him This Wheels on Fire, the Levon Helm uh, biography. Uh, I really enjoyed that book, so I got him a copy. He wanted to read it. Let me get started and show you what I have because there's a lot of records and I have even more. But I'll just show you some. Now here is our Stevie Moore, right? Now this is interesting. This is, um, he was an American multi-instrumentalist and he was from Tennessee and he pioneered lo-fi uh, and do-it-yourself music. This is from 1984 and you could say pop, punk, psych, uh, definitely lo-fi. So our Stevie Moore. And then here's a San Francisco band. This is Flying Color and I would say that uh, I wrote some notes here, guys. Short, punchy tunes, great melodies, harmonies, and really very much like R.E.M., very much so, right up there with the band. And these guys are from uh, 1987. This is their debut LP, and this is on Grifter Frontier Records, and it's very jangly and Beatles-like for Flying Color. And here's a band, this is really cool. These guys used to warm up for uh, Duran Duran, OMD, and the Psychedelic Furs. And I heard they just stole the show. And this is, uh, this is our daughter's wedding. I really like this. Really good stuff. And uh, let's see, uh, they took the name from a Do It Yourself photo album. And it's very synthy, but this is quality synth pop. It really is. Uh, they're out in New York City. And two of the members are from Northern California, from Fairfield, California. So our daughter's wedding, and I have one more title by this really cool band as well. And go online, go to YouTube to check out our daughter's wedding. Excellent. And here's a band that's a little bit like uh, Gun Club and the Cramps. This is Tav Falco's Panther Burns, Blow Your Top. And uh, let's see here. Uh, this, uh, they're originally from Memphis, Tennessee, and they're part of the late 70s scene blending blues, country, alternative, and punk music, hence the cramps, gun club, that sort of thing. This is good. Really glad to have this. Let me show you the back cover here. And here's a, a record I'm really pleased to have, and it was really cool of, uh, Ted to let me have this one. This is Elton Motello, and this is Victim of Time. This has Jet Boy, Jet Girl. Of course, The Damned covered this. 
Very, very cool to have this. His real name is um, Alan Ward, by the way. And he was uh, formerly of the, uh, in the glam punk band called Bastard. So Elton Motello, and I have one more by him. Very, very cool. This is pop art. Victim of Time is the highly sought after record, pretty much. And this is pop art. This should be his second. This is from 1980 for Elton Motello. And next to Gold Stamp promo from uh, The Outfield. And this is banging, right? I love that cover. I really love the cover. And the back, look at the, the diaper pins, right? This is their second LP from 1987 uh, from London, England. And, you know, pop rock, power pop, new wave, and the hit single, Your Love, on here. And I listened to all these records. I just had a blast over the period of three days. <laughs> I really did. These are cool. I mean, I love my 80s. I really, really do. And uh, here's the fifth LP from... I'm compiling a lot of, yes, motels. And this is from 1985, as I said. And this is very, very nice. Martha Davis. You know, they used to share a rehearsal space with the Go-Go's in Los Angeles. Uh, but here, again, Motel Shock. And the really cool, this is sealed. So I don't know when I'm going to open that because I have a lot of motels to listen to. And look at the hype here, guys. This is too cool. This is a Motel's fourth album from 1983. And this, of course, has Suddenly Last Summer on it. Really, really nice. And the back cover. And I'll show you that gold stamp promo and that beautiful hype. And this is a band from Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, they, they formed all the way back in 1971. And this is Mother's Finest. I mean, they're funk rock. This is a killer band. Check them out, please. I mean, hard rock, a little bit like, like Living Color, but not really. Mother's Finest is cool. And I used to hear these guys back in the day. I really did. And um, yeah, so check it out. Here's the songs for Mother's Finest. You might know it. And this one is Sealed. And here's a band that was formed in Berlin. This one's from 1984. And uh, two twins, Australian-born, uh, Alf and uh, Janie. And they're both on vocals. And guys, Holiday is the big hit here. I love Holiday. If you don't know it, remind yourself about Holiday. Very, very cool. Great 80s pop. Absolutely. Really cool to have this. Now let's get right into Beach Boys. I did buy some in, in barter and trade for Beach Boys, and I have uh, three seven-inch singles that are just stellar. So first I'm going to start with Beach Boys 6669. This is a French pressing, and these records sound exceptional. They really do. And uh, I mean, they're, they're never played. This one was open, but I don't think it was ever spun at all. Again, this is old tower record stock that... Ted as a manager of Tower in Berkeley, uh, Los Angeles, and Anaheim uh, has these records in his collection. And my favorite listen of yesterday is this one right here, a Japanese pressing of the Beach Boys Rarities. This was just exceptional. It really was just terrific. And what I really liked was um, their version of With a Little Help from My Friends, the letter Box Tops, I was made to love her, and a very four freshman like uh, rendition of the Lord's Prayer. You have to hear it if you don't know it. If you're a Beach Boys nut like I am, uh, on the side two is In My Room, Cotton Fields, and Good Vibrations on side two. So these are all rarities, and really pleased to have this record. And the next best uh, Beach Boys spin actually. I thought that the, uh, what was that, 65 to 69, 62 to 65 was even better. This one is the French pressing as well. Surf and Safari, all of it. This was fantastic. And then I am going to go back for one more single, and I was so impressed with uh, It's Getting Late. This is a 7-inch single. Uh, I believe that uh, Carl Wilson uh, wrote it. 
and sings on this. This was a very, very good song. It's Getting Late and It's Okay is also a very, very good song. And Rock and Roll to the Rescue. This has a live version of Good Vibrations from 1969 in the UK. This is just really great. Really is. These are virtually all unplayed. All those other ones are on Rainbow Capital. And the Rainbow Capital on the French pressing is really cool. Now, this is the first one I asked. Um, he had two or three copies of these. And Ted and I went to see Brian Wilson with the Wondermints in about 2016. Maybe it was 2017. It was such an incredible show. And I, I walked right up front under, yes, Love and Mercy. I've told the story before. But I walked right up under Brian. And he's singing Love and Mercy. And Brian Wilson looked right at me. I mean, looked right at me. I mean, I just got tingly. And it was really an incredible experience. So it's really nice to have this. And, of course, he closed with Love and Mercy, his great song. Now, uh, who is it? Randy and the Rainbows from 1963, right? Did Denise, right? Well, here we have Blondie on a Japanese press. Denis, Denis, right? This is so good. I actually have listened to the song four or five times in the last three days. I love it. And I'll just close with this. The 20, 20th, and, <laughs> see, tongue-tied, 20th anniversary picture disc for the Beatles, right? And this is um, something and come together, sealed, old tower stock. You can see the sticker there, $6.44. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be going back to Ted's house next week. I have, we're really into the 2002 Rhino reissues of uh, Chicago, uh, the first album all the way through Chicago 8. Everything with Terry Kath on it is, is very, very good with the bonus tracks from those Rhino reissues on CD. And next week, I've been to Bill's Garage, I'd say three times since I last showed a, uh, a Bill video. So I'll see you there next week. And thanks for watching.